Next time we visit the tower, I'll give you the grand tour. You may need to clean up a bit first. We're dropping you to a position just outside the battle zone. A little extra caution, but better safe than sorry. I cannot fly, right? Tony, that you? The entire defensive perimeter's been taken out. Better get down here soon, or there'll be nothing left to save. Way ahead of you. Sorry I'm late. Sensors got your energy signature confused with a flock of radioactive pigeons. It's a New York thing. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'd maybe add a couple more O's onto that. I thought the doctor said your defenses were down. They are. Didn't say anything about our defenders, though. I'm Steve. Welcome to the fight. Numbers will not save you now. The gunships are targeting us with rockets. Shouldn't have pissed me off. Well, I hope you are building one of those suits for me. That'll work. Nice work. To the top of the tower. At least we know Hydra's commitment to cowardice remains unchanged. Much like their commitment to just plain sucking. <laughs> Maybe we will survive this battle unscathed. Never, ever say that. That's pretty much Hero 101. person on Earth who knows it is right here. Okay, capital H, U, L, -K, Tony, tell me S your super secret M code is not Hulk Smash. Don't be ridiculous. It's Hulk Smash 1, 2, 3, 4. Transmitting now. <sighs> Got it. But you're playing with the big boys now. Hail Hydra! Let's get it on. That explosion just shorted out half our systems. Glad to hear it's working out. I'll be lucky if I can keep the reactor from going full overload. Love it when a plan comes together. We get it, Rumlo. Let's do this. Bruce, getting quiet down there. I'm a little busy. Perhaps if you could stop the hail of rockets from slamming into the facility, I could stabilize the highly explosive reactor. Yeesh, always so touchy. Ding, ding! We've got incoming. We've done it.
You peewee scout sure had me worried for a second. Was afraid I wouldn't get the chance to use this. Hold that thought. What's our status, Brucey? We good? Oh, yes. So good. Tony, was that a gamma burst? Why am I reading a gamma burst coming from inside the tower? Not to worry. Everything is fine. All part of the plan. Bruce, what the hell is going on down there? <laughs> Something far worse than hell, Tin Man. Ah! Lilith, like I said before... The Dark Mother thanks you so much for the Gamma Accelerator. Couldn't have done it without you, Tony. Did I miss something? He is lost to us. Fallen to my mother's corruption. Yeah, it's sort of a thing now. <laughs> you played us. Well, played me. The code, this. Also, you could steal your precious accelerator. Fight her off, Bruce. We both know you're much stronger than this. Always trying to play the hero, Tony. Well, here's your chance. Save the world. Take the shot. Disappointing. Tony, I... I don't know what to say. And don't say anything, because I don't want to talk about it. Tony at a loss for words. <laughs> That's a first. It's happened before, and it's never a good sign. He's deeply shaken. I told you I don't want to talk about it. Not talking about it won't make it less real. Banner has betrayed us, and the tower has fallen. As Lilith rises... We fall. We were always so worried about the damage the Hulk could do. Quietly cheered to ourselves when we thought he might be gone for good. We never once considered what Banner's mind is capable of, unhinged. I should have seen this coming. Beating yourself up will not bring the tower back. I should know. I've been where you are now, spending countless hours blaming myself for the loss of the Sanctum for Wanda. Yeah? Well, maybe you didn't blame yourself enough. Some of us don't shrug off our failures so casually. I know you're angry, but if you're looking for a punching bag, may I suggest using the one in the yard and not me? There you go again, throwing in the towel before the fight is over. You're the only one who's fighting. Now take it outside, Tony. I've had enough. I fear the loss of his tower might break, Tony. While he often mocks my mastery of the arcane arts, I'm worried Tony's doubt will erode his confidence. We need Iron Man, Hunter. Please check on Tony. Judgment two. Let me guess. You're here to tell me I screwed up. That I should have taken the shot at Banner when I had the chance. Go ahead, Hunter. What are you waiting for? Say it. Tell me I screwed up. The position Lilith put you in was impossible. No one should have to make a choice like that. But isn't that our job, Hunter? To make impossible choices at critical moments? That's what we Avengers do. We make the tough calls for the greater good. And I failed. You must understand, Tony. There was no escaping failure this time. Damn it, why didn't I see Bruce slipping away? I should have known something was going on with him. All the red flags were there, and I ignored them. Some grand genius I am. I have three masters, a PhD from MI freaking T, and I sat at the helm of one of the planet's greatest companies, but I couldn't even see what was screaming right in front of my face. How did I let him play me like that? I suggest taking a moment to just breathe. It will help you get clarity. No, Hunter, you take a moment. I've got clarity on this. Thank you. And it's clear to me that what happened was my fault. We are not in control anymore, Tony. No one is safe. No fortress impenetrable. Not now. With my mother emboldening Hydra forces, there is nothing she cannot touch. 
You know, this, this little pep talk isn't really working for me. Then perhaps I should take my leave. Yeah, you do that, boss. Leave. You wanted a word? Yes, about Banner. Stark will never forgive himself for not seeing Banner's turn. The only thing Tony must forgive himself for is failing to take out Banner when he had the chance. You need to fully understand the gravity of the threat he poses to us now. Banner is a brilliant scientist. No doubt Lilith will find a way to exploit that. You've never met his alter ego. See, Lilith doesn't just have Banner's genius IQ at her disposal. She has the Hulk, and that's like having a god fight by her side. Banner's intelligence is still more of a threat. Why do you say that? He gave me a body scan, Sarah. He what? For all we know, he could have analyzed every inch of me. Cataloged all my strengths and weaknesses. Oh, I... I didn't realize. Let us hope he did not find anything he can use against me. Okay, I've said my piece. I just hope you heard it. You've never fought anything like the Hulk before. We should talk. You're right. Let's talk about how your mother just turned one of my best friends against us. I am sorry about Dr. Banner. It is always hard when our comrades fall. I appreciate that, Hunter. But you don't have to tell me about war. I fought my share of them. Then you know the risk. As did he. We're all willing to risk our lives. But this is different. What Lilith did to Banner was unthinkable. She changed him. <sighs> Listen, I know what happened to Bruce isn't your fault. But... But I'd be a fool if I said I trust you completely. You're Lilith's kid. Could your mother turn you the same way she turned Bruce? What if she has already? If that were the case, none of you would be standing here right now. You might be right. Which is part of the problem. I don't know anymore. This is beyond anything I've ever faced before. These people look to me for guidance, but it feels like I'm stumbling around in the dark. I was told you are a soldier. I was. A long time ago. Then you know war is always uncertain. Learn from this experience, and ensure that it never happens again. Or give in to doubt, and surrender now. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Not exactly my branch of the service, but I get the point. You know, I think I might have misjudged you, Hunter. I am the child of the Dark Mother. It is only right for you to be wary. I appreciate that, but the truth is... I was angry about Bruce, and I took it out on you. That's on me. I'm sorry. Let's start over. Hi, I'm Steve Rogers. What do you say we get to know each other? I sense there is a past between you and Crossbones. He's a mercenary. Real name, Brock Rumlow. Does not seem to like you very much. We go way back. He even killed me once. So you are an immortal. Only if you listen to the Avengers marketing team. It's a long story, but no, I bleed just the same as you. Well, not, not the same as you, or Carol, or Bruce. Even Tony and Steven, I guess, but look, I'm mortal. There is something about you that I cannot place. You seem different from your friends, almost. <laughs> Older? I suppose so, yes. I get that a lot. Last time I checked, I was 102. But honestly, I stopped counting. It's weird even for me. I was in a plane crash near the end of World War II. Went into the ice in 45. I am glad we had a chance to speak, Steve Rogers. I am too, Hunter. You're not too bad at this leadership thing yourself. Starting to feel like I could go another 12 rounds. No time like the present. How are you, Carol? Better than Tony, poor guy. 
I hate seeing him beat himself up over Banner. I mean, every option was some Faustian flavor of crap. Would you have been able to take the shot? Because I don't think I could have. I do not know what I would have done if put in Tony's unfortunate position. Yeah, that makes two of us. It's so easy to criticize someone's decisions from afar with I would have done this or I would have done that self-righteous crap. Truth is, none of us can ever honestly say what we would do in a situation until we're in it. Agreed. It's refreshing to talk to someone around here who doesn't pretend to have all the answers for a change. Well, I should really check in on Tony at some point today. See you around. Defensible misfits, to be discarded or sacrificed if we do not prove our... What do you think? You don't think this whole Bruce Wanda thing is fair either, right? Fair? What do you mean, Nico? Oh, come on. You see the double standard too? I know you do. All they care about is losing Bruce. It's as if Wanda never existed. Now we all have to sit around and cuddle Stark through his grief. Who was there for us when Wanda was taken, huh? Where was our Kleenex and freaking group therapy? The Avengers caretaker. They do not care about Wanda and never will. I know, right? You were right in believing that they will only take care of their own. Perhaps it is time to do the same. Uh, what do you mean? You want them to save Wanda, but maybe it is you who should save her. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> I can already see this pissing off caretaker, which is even more of a reason for me trying. You know, I bet if they had a shot at saving their precious banner boy, they wouldn't hesitate. How long has Wanda been gone? We've waited long enough for someone to take action. And action is just what I might take. Let them rage. I like a challenge, you know? That satisfaction at beating a nearly impossible game is... What's up, Hunter? Mind if I join you? Please do. Do you ever feel... I don't know, out of place? What do you mean? I mean that we're living with the Avengers. So? So, I'm the guy who stops bag snatchers and ATM thieves. Each one of them saved the whole world like five times, minimum. From what I hear, New York City is a better place with you in it. Right, but the whole world is a better place because of the Avengers. They each had to start somewhere. You started in Queens. Now you are here to save the world. Huh. I guess you're right. Thanks. I just needed to get that off my chest. Anytime. I can't stand vampire movies. Why not? Why do you think? They take vicious killers and present them as tragic and misunderstood. Perhaps vampires are making movies about themselves to garner sympathy. I used to think so. I spent a month in Los Angeles running it down. And? Maybe back in the day, but now? Studios throw anything at the wall to see what sticks. That's all. Is that why there are movies about... What did Nico call them? Sparkle vampires? You know, I didn't hate those movies. Thought I would. Why not? Sparkle vampires don't exist. For me, it was fiction. Although, I did root for the werewolves. Uh, look, I'm not looking for your deep, dark diary secrets. Don't get freaked out. I don't care who you have a crush on. Can't believe I'm actually asking you this, but... I wonder if you could give me a peek behind the magical veil? A uh, magical veil? Yeah, I, I don't want to know card tricks or anything like that. I just want to know more about the secrets of magic. I'm talking about the spooky stuff. Let me teach you something small to start off with. Maybe read a grimoire. See how you like it. I promise I'm a quick study. Don't hesitate to throw me in the deep end. I do not doubt your intelligence, which is why we have to start small. Exposing you to magic's darkest secrets right away could... do some damage. What kind of damage could a little book learn and do? Well, reading the wrong grimoire has the potential to wipe your mind completely, and... 
Turn you into an empty vessel ripe for possession by non-corporeal entities that lurk in the outer darkness, just waiting for unwitting magical explorers to uncover the wrong bit of knowledge. Don't read the wrong books. Got it. See? I'm a quick student. Just let me know when and where, and we will begin. It's good that we have the kind of relationship where I can come to you about this stuff and there's no judgment. You could not talk to Strange about this? Uh, he knows his stuff, but if I came to him to teach me, I'd never hear the end of it. The man loves the sound of his own voice, especially when he's reciting incantations. If you don't mind, can we keep these lessons between you and me? Do not worry. I will keep my secret to my grave. And beyond. That's the kind of commitment I like to hear. I knew there was a reason I liked you. Very well. I think I have the perfect reading for your first assignment. There is a book up on that shelf. Occulta Pericula Amet. Oh, my Latin is a little rusty, but does that say... Dangerous Magic Secrets? Ancient wizards did not like to get clever with their book titles. Anyway, take notes, and we will talk later. So, like, Hunter, uh, don't let this go to your head, but I think you're okay. You do? Yeah, uh, I mean, I see you trying to make me feel included, and I thought I should take a moment to thank you for not leaving me out. Caretaker makes me feel like a child sometimes, but you don't, so, like, thanks. Caretaker has also treated me like a child at times, too. Always telling me what to do, when to go to bed, what to eat, what demons to kill. Yeah, that lady needs a life and a therapist to work out her trust and control issues with. I mean, you seem to trust me. Not sure why she doesn't. Ah, <sighs> anywho... I guess what I'm trying to say is, I see you making an effort to not make me feel like a complete reject, and I appreciate that. I need all the allies I can get on this apocalyptic reality show because I do not want to get voted out of this abbey or off this world. Reality show? Vote? Just try and not get eliminated, Hunter. Oh, poor thing. I feel the torment within you. The pain. It pains me to see you so angry with me. As it pains me to lose a valued friend. Bruce would be pleased to know you feel as such. He appreciates your companionship as well. You misunderstand me. I do not miss Dr. Banner. I mourn him. Yet another soul fallen to your twisted call. More lies taught to you by Sarah and her pet witch. I do not compel Dr. Banner. I released him. Released him from the shackles of those who've sought to control him his entire life. Such a unique mind, such a powerful soul, held in check for so long by his lesser. I cannot help but see the similarity to you, precious child. Will you not allow me to help you achieve the same? To find a true purpose, achieve peace. You will never control me. Have you not been listening? That is the opposite of what I desire. When the time comes, you will stand by my side, freely. I would never have it otherwise. And I thought I was the one who was dreaming. You have been asleep far too long, child. You must pierce the veil of their false prophecy and... <laughs> 